Oh, what a night. Do, 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 do. That's how I feel. That's how I feel this morning. That was unexpected. Um, I don't think I've ever woken up in such a happy mood before. I'm literally on my way to the bakery at the moment to get some croissants and some kind of slightly posh food in for breakfast. Uh, you got to make the effort. Once she's cleared off and I've got the place to myself, I will, I'll give you guys all the details. Um, well, maybe not all the details because uh, a gentleman shouldn't do that, but edited highlights or something. Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. I've just realised I haven't even given you my greeting yet. Stuff has been hectic today, but in the best way possible. Um, yeah, so last night has happened. It's incredible. Um, all right, so last night I was I was streaming. Um, I was streaming till late as well, till like half 10 or 11 or something. Uh, I got off the stream and I had a text from this girl who's my friend. Uh, I won't say her name. I don't want to kind of dox people and stuff, but we've been friends for a while. We met a long time ago. Uh, back at a wedding and I've always thought that oh, she's my friend I fancy her like definitely you know you would but I always thought yep oh, she's my mate nothing's ever gonna happen anyway after my stream last night uh, she texted me I'd seen her earlier in the day and I'd mentioned to her something is going on in my house there's some weird stuff happening um, I'm reluctant to label it as paranormal but um, in fact let me play you a clip I was gonna do a whole vlog about it but the other day I came downstairs my mum's away at the moment mum's up in Banbury down in Banbury and um, a woman owning the house have been for a few days right um, first of all, there were these weird noises waking me up. I woke up twice in a row, had just gone three o'clock in the morning, and there was like there was noises downstairs. I came down, couldn't see anything. Uh, but then the other morning, I woke up to this. All right, it's eight thirty in the morning, and I have just walked downstairs in the kitchen. There's no one in my house. Mum's away in Banbury at the moment, seeing one of her friends. All right, walks down into the kitchen, and I found that, like that. I did not leave the knife like that why would i do that i'd never do that with a knife it blunt it it damages the chopping board it's just sitting there i don't understand what is going on in my house i don't understand it like I, the three possibilities that i can think of right number one somehow i've sleptwalk i've come downstairs sleepwalking and i've done that i don't know i don't think i do sleepwalk no one's ever told me i do i don't think that's a possibility number two someone has somehow got into my house um i don't know how they would have done that like everything's locked and why they would have just done this but somehow someone is messing with me i would think my sister but both of the doors were double locked last night chain was on the front door key was left in the back door so they couldn't come in through the doors all the windows are locked um third possibility and i'm reluctant to even say it because i know it makes me sound like a knob but like there's something paranormal going on here and I know everyone's going to dismiss that, but right, something is going on with knives in my house. I have bought like five brand new knives over the last few weeks. I went to Ikea a, like a month and a half, two months back, bought a brand new set of knives. Every single one of them, apart from this one, is gone. Right? And they were to replace another set of knives. I'd only bought shortly before that and they were just gone. I was thinking my sister was tea leafing them and stuff, but I just don't know. I don't know and it's really freaking me out i can't stop thinking about it why is that just sitting there like that oh i don't know you excuse the mess mum's away you know obviously i'm not tidying as much as i normally would but i don't know i can't relax now that has really really freaked me out i'm gonna pull it out now that's probably in there like, that's wedged and then the other day i was in the bathroom just putting a ladder back and i realized that the loft was slightly open and i don't know how that happened so i videoed a little investigation of it this all right look at this this is the loft attic uh door how has that happened it is slightly open i hope you can see that it's like a good two inches the loft lid is sitting up there i cannot explain how that why that is open um, I, I was, I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the bathroom because I was putting the ladder back in here. Um, I've been doing some decorating. I took it out earlier today, and that is the literally the only thing that I could think is that I've somehow knocked the corner of it when I was taking the ladder out. But I don't see how. Like one, I would have heard it; it would have been dead loud. Two, I would have felt it, and three, I was carrying the ladder like horizontally, like long ways, so it go out through the door. So I, I don't see. There's any way that I could have done that. And there's weird stuff that's been happening in my house for a little while now. Like a big box of cereal unopened went missing uh, the other day from a shelf. I mean, it's beneath an open window. And I thought that maybe we've got this mental Christian lady who prays like shouts to God all day long. You know, she's obviously got some issues. And I was thinking maybe she'd come and nicked it late at night or something because she's too scared to go to the shops. 
Uh, but now I'm thinking oh, there's someone living up there or something. But I don't know. I've heard noises. I'm, go I'm going up there. Basically, we're going up there. That's the only thing we can do. Let's do it. We're going up. Uh, I do warn you, there's no light up there. And it is a massive mess. Uh, my mum just hoards everything that me and my sisters have had since we were about three years old but i don't see it. that's why i'm confident it can't be someone up here because look like as soon as you open it like it boxed up with just bits of furniture everything old sky boxes that's i don't think someone could get up here but i mean it's so dark how would i know Christ. hello is there anyone up here I'm not cross if you are, like, if you're having problems or something, just say hello. I'll try and help you out, but you can't be in my house. I mean, there's literally no way through this. Uh, someone could not be staying up here. Look, it's just, it's floor to ceiling high. I mean, nothing. I can see nothing, and I cannot see how someone could feasibly even be getting up there, let alone kind of staying up there. Like all day long and sneaking out at night, I guess they'd be doing. Uh, it, it, it's impossible. They're like You couldn't put the ladder back down. There's no way to climb up the bathroom wall there. But why, is, why was it open? I, it's left me feeling really, really uneasy. Like I don't scare easily. And probably the paranormal is the only thing that makes me feel uneasy. Because if it's a human, a bloke, you know, they can be brought down, you know, a well-timed left hook, uh, you know, a... Uh, liberally soak their eyes, smash them over the head with a can of beans. I've told you a million ways you can take down a human, but, you know, how do you plan against the paranormal? Um, I mean, I'm probably just getting in my head about it, but I don't like the fact it was open, and I'm going to go up the road to the hardware shop, and I'm going to get a little lock for it, I think, just because it's going to freak me out if it happens again. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess just keep, I'll keep watching. So, anyway, uh, she's got a bit of an interest in the paranormal and she was texting me seeing if anything else had happened and i was just texting her back saying i was getting a weird feeling about it uh it just felt like there was someone or something in my house and she like was messaging me and i thought she was joking she was saying do you want me to come down there are you worried you know are you scared you know we're just joking around you know about you know me possibly being scared i guess it's funny because you know it's me big bloke and stuff but i was playing along i was like yeah come on down you know we'll do some ghost watching together or have a drink and she came and she came oh, no no that's 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 tawdy that's gorgeous i don't want to talk about it like that um you don't need any details you don't need to know if anything happened but you know just rest assured you know it did twice um so i'm um, obviously i'm over the bloody moon about it i don't know what this means we had a quick breakfast this morning she had to get off she's got work this afternoon but obviously i am i'm just flying high at the moment i feel great after my nasty breakup a few weeks ago it just feels great to be kind of you know, wanted again and stuff. It's a nice boost to the confidence. Um, and that's a, that's a, another one of my friends. You can watch out, people. You know, if I'm your friend, I might, you know, actually, don't, don't, that makes it sound like a little bit pervy, noncy and stuff. Don't, don't worry, I'm not going to boom, boom everyone. But just be aware if I'm your friend and you start having feelings like you're not alone, apparently. I am back in the scene of my Chiam. Although I'm now solo, uh, she's gone home. She had to go off to work. Wow. I mean, what a unexpected evening that was. I don't know. I'm not reading too much into it. I don't know what it means, obviously. Like, I'm not thinking that she's my girlfriend or anything. I'm not getting ahead of myself. Like, she's gorgeous. Like, as Stormzy would say, she's a goddess. So, it's just a bonus. Literally, just a bonus. Um, yeah, I can't believe it. She only came over to help me ghost hunt. But she said she was going to come and use some sage, rub some sage. I mean, she ended up rubbing some... No. I'm getting told again, not going to rob something else. She didn't rob something else. Don't just forget I said that. But she was coming over to burn or do something with say. She didn't end up doing it in the end. But apparently that can get rid of spirits and stuff in your house. I mean, I'm at a loss with this. Like, I like to think of myself as a very, very, you know, practical, down-to-earth person. But I do believe in something else. It's like we, I wouldn't say it's ghosts, but there is definitely something paranormal. There's more than we understand and i can't explain some of the stuff that's going on in my house i haven't been able to find someone that was my big worry that like a homeless person had got in and was living in my loft or something but there's no sign of someone up there um and why would they be leaving clues like that thing with a knife and like 
I don't know. I just don't know. But I'm going to keep at it and we're going to keep investigating until I get to the bottom of it. Um, I was going to do Control Callum today. Uh, we did a Drew Lots uh, a couple of months ago. Three people are going to control my life for a day. But I haven't heard back from a couple of them. So we're now going to do that on Friday. Um, I'm going to go over to Gav's today. I'll upload this before I go. And we'll do a big long live stream in the afternoon. Just kind of celebrate my victory. But just we'll just celebrate a bloody good night last night. So hopefully I'll see you guys all there after lunch or something. Maybe we'll even go for a little trip down in Stokes Croft. I can give you a guided tour of kind of my ends. Yeah. Okay, right. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. If you've got any ideas of what might be going on in my house, please do leave some comments and let me know. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.